the wicket, doesn't get all of it. It comes across and then puts it away. Having said that, they've also got Mr. He comes down the wicket. Remember, he picked up a 50. That's a cracking shot. I told you right from the word go that he was... This match, again down the wicket. Out of the middle. Using his feet pretty often. Oh, that's... And then, oh, no, oh my word! Second hit! Again, trying to hit. And if you were attack. That's what I bought. Just trying to. Oh, he goes uh, big time, but uh, yes, he does. Good last ball, tuck around the corner for an amble single. Nine from that. Up. He's trying to be cheeky. He's and there he goes again. This time he's got a bit of back to it. Look, sure, and that has uh, been uppercut into the. Later. Yes, uh, walking down. Once he sees the batsman, he's trying to make room, backs away, tucks it away and gets his 50. Very well played. Aids well. He has played with intention. The intensity was there. He was aggressive. The very fact that. Yeah, they are. Uh, okay, now talking about your bowling, you seem to have got the rhythm, obviously. Well, good. last month, obviously, I was getting injured and, and I got uh, COVID-19. Thank you, Vai. Right, so we carry on. We have seen two massive IPDC sixes. A rate of knots. At 11 per over. So. But that was it. It's been offline today. Could be an opportunity in this inning so far. Oh, cheeky. But he's gone straight to the fielder. That's your wicket, Atta. I'll give you that one. Not to most of <laughs> Oh, unfortunate. He batted so well for his 80. It's a shot that has been quite lucrative for him. I just don't think the pace was there. It needed to go a lot finer, in fact. And over that man at short fine leg, it doesn't. He creates the breakthrough. And a very enterprising, exciting 80 comes to an end. 132 for three.